Yo, what's going on, North Texas Barbecue Addicts? It's me, Kenneth, and in today's episode, we're busting out my brand new cooker from G Flame. I'll have their information down below in the description box. This is a wood fired pizza oven, guys. But not only are we going to cook pizza on this, we're going to cook so many things. And in today's episode, we're actually cooking chicken halves on the wood fired oven, guys. So this is going to be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and get this fired up. Let it go ahead and regulate for about 45 minutes to make sure we get the temperatures we're looking for. We're wanting to maintain a temp between 350 to 450 degrees. We're going to roast this bird up. It's going to be flavorful. You're not going to want to miss it. Y'all stick around. All right, y'all, look at that fire. We got the G flame rolling. With the door open, we're rolling about 350, so that means we're gonna be roasting these chicken halves at about probably 425, if I had to guess. Um, this is the very first cook on it. Looking forward to it. We hit this with some gator Cajun seasoning from Suckle Busters and a little bit of some avocado oil for the skin. Look at that. I'm gonna shut this bad boy down and we'll see how we're cooking. I'm gonna check on this in 15 minutes. We're gonna check on this just to see how we're coming along because we're learning this cooker together, y'all. All right, we'll catch back up with y'all. All right, y'all, we are 15 minutes in. We're running about 450 degrees on our wood-fired oven from G Flame. Man, I can't even uh, explain how exciting this is to be able to cook on this. Been warming it up a couple times before getting to cook on it. Let's move the door. We did check on it a little bit because again, this is my first time to actually cook some food on it. So I just want to make sure everything's coming along how we should. Let's uh, let's take this probe out. Yeah, I can pick that up, check that out. That's what the chicken's looking like so far. Um, I told y'all, man, that smells awesome. I told y'all we uh, seasoned it up with a little bit of the gator shake. The Gators Cajun Shake from Suckle Busters. This was that rub right there. I do want to top it off with a little bit of some more seasoning. And I like Texas Pecan Rub here on chicken. It's going to put a beautiful color on our bird. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of that on there. Be a nice sweet and spicy. And we're going to base this chicken up with, uh, we've got some Asian Zing barbecue sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings that we're going to use here in a little bit. So. Let's go ahead and put this chicken in the opposite way of how it was. We're running about 450 degrees, still 400 degrees with the door wide open. Um, we got one hickory split that we tossed in there while we started cooking and some cherry chunks. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more cherry in here for that nice smoky flavor. Toss it off in the corner. We got a little split in there and a nice size chunk and I'm going to throw one more of these cherry chunks in here too. Comment down below what is your favorite kind of wood or smoke to use when you're cooking chicken. I love cherry, I love apple, um, hickory is obviously a go-to of mine for everything. Let's go ahead and get this probe back in our bird. Man it smells awesome, that cherry wood's rolling, there we go. So that one, like I said, we rotated them because I believe the heat is bouncing off of the wall here cooking. So this chicken says that we are at 94 degrees. So looking good on that. Again, this is all new to me. So we're all learning this cooker together. Let's go ahead and uh, get this guy pushed in a little bit closer to the fire and shut her down. We're going to check on it in 15 more minutes. I think at that point we are going to baste it up with some of that Asian Zing sauce. Okay, now we've got that probe wire in the way. We're going to baste it up with some Asian Zing sauce and uh, see what we're looking like. So we're holding it 94 degrees internal. I'll catch back up with y'all. Alright barbecue addicts, we've been cooking for about 20-25 minutes total on the wood fired oven. We're already at 141 degrees internal. We did cut this chicken into half um, off camera before we started recording. Let's go ahead and remove the door. Holy moly, that chicken's looking good. 
It smells awesome. Now we're gonna baste it up. We're almost done cooking, which is insane to say we are almost done cooking, only 20 minutes in on this chicken. Let's go ahead and bring this out here. We're getting some nice crispy action. Let me, uh, let me show y'all what this is looking like before we get this uh, Asian zing sauce on it. Check out that beautiful color from that Cajun rub. That's all right, got a little char there, that's okay. It's gonna add flavor. Still got plenty of heat rolling. Beautiful color. Again, we're at 140 degrees internal. And uh, I'd say we probably got like 10 or 15 more minutes left before it's all said and done. But let me go ahead and set this camera back up and then we're gonna baste it up with some of that Asian Zing Buffalo Wild Wing sauce. All right, I got that Asian Zing sauce in this little uh, sauce bowl right here. We're just going to dab this on. This is going to add to the flavor, obviously. I think it'll add a beautiful color on this chicken. Again, I don't need to put a ton of this stuff on here because we got some nice seasoning combinations on here with that gator rub and that uh, pecan rub. But this is just going to accent that dry seasoning. And I think all these flavors are going to go great together. It's steaming. It's looking great. The skin's starting to be nice and crispy. This sauce is going to help with that skin also. I'm just going to dab a little bit on here. It is nice and chilly out here today in Texas. Hopefully y'all are staying warm where y'all are. This morning when we woke up it was 28 degrees here in Texas, which I know some of y'all are going to say that's not cold still, but to a Texan, that's cold. <laughs> so here we go. We're just going to sauce this up a little bit. Add a little bit more of a flavor profile to our chicken we're sitting at 140 ish degrees internal this should not take long at all to finish let's get this nice and sauced up there just evenly there we go all right I am gonna add one more uh, bit of cherry to it just to finish it off we want it to still taste like that cherry wood so I'm gonna add one more chunk of cherry in our wood fired oven right there back in the corner there we go let's place this back in just like so that's looking beautiful there we go so let's close the door up and uh, next time I see y'all we'll be pulling this chicken off and uh, letting it rest and giving it a taste alright guys so just like that literally that's the first cook on the G flame wood fired oven we used some hickory splits, some cherry chunks, and about a three-fourths full chimney of Kingsford blue charcoal to run that uh, heat source in the oven. Uh, we started out around 600 degrees, but we knew that would taper off, and basically the entire cook, we were around 400 to 450 degrees, and we cooked this bad boy in about 35 minutes. We got these two chicken halves. They're looking awesome. We got the char. It smells awesome with those rubs, that sauce that we used. There's only one more thing to do, and let's see exactly what kind of flavor profile did that wood-fired pizza oven put on this chicken. So let's go ahead and cut right into a wing here. Dang, it's juicy. It's just falling off the bone, too. I don't know if it's going to come off like that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's definitely cooked, so let's go ahead and cut down the middle right here. The wing is loose, y'all. There we go. Check that out. Look at that color. Beautiful. All right. So this is what we're looking like, gang. The wing is definitely cooked. We got to about 175 degrees in the chicken breast, so we know everything's done. Let me get this camera turned around, and we're going to give this chicken a try, and uh, we'll talk about the flavor profiles. All right, guys, I got my buddy Andrew over here and Justin. Golly, look at that char. That's freaking awesome. Got to get a picture. Right there, so completely juicy. I don't know if I can get it to do it, but it was dripping when I cut the chicken breast, but that's enough talk. This smells insane. Again, chicken in 35 minutes on the wood-fired grill. Cheers, y'all. Holy moly. Wow. That char, that wood flavored. Man, that is awesome. Perfectly cooked chicken. The 
Again, we cooked it to about 175 degrees internal. Completely juicy. Nothing, look at that, nothing but juice coming out of my hand and the chicken. This was a success for the very first cook. I look forward to more cooks in the future. If y'all like what y'all saw today, make sure y'all leave me a comment. Check out G Flames. And until next time, I got barbecue sauce all over my hands, dripping with chicken juice, but peace! Y'all keep on barbecuing. I'm gonna eat me some chicken. <laughs>